What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody is having a great day. Uh, we've got the Giants game in about an hour. Rashid's taking a nap before the game because, you know, <laughs> the Giants will wear you out. <clears throat> they will wear you out, so he needs a little, little nap before the game. Um, you know, I know you probably have heard that uh, Stephen A. Smith will be having <clears throat> Shannon Sharp on first take. And today was the first day that I felt like all of a sudden the narrative is beginning to change in ESPN, that they're going into another direction. <clears throat> they were actually talking about the Eagles and how hard it is to repeat something that we've talked about on this channel and stuff and kind of the chink in the armor of the Eagles, you know, where they've been touting the Eagles is great. And so today they have a Josh Allen and Dak Prescott, something I've been talking about because people will say, oh, you know, Dak Prescott <clears throat> can't carry Josh Allen's jockstrap. The Dak Prescott's nowhere near the quarterback he is. And I kept kind of pointing out that he only had one less interception, but had more fumbles and led the league in turnovers. And throughout his years has had double digit interceptions every year. He's been a turnover machine. And he's had great players. In fact, if you look at Josh Allen before he got Stephon Diggs, his numbers were pedestrian. Stephon Diggs made the difference for that guy. But be that as it may, it was all of a sudden, the question was, who would you rather have, Dak Prescott or Josh Allen with the turnovers? I think that's how it was. But I want to play this because, of course, you can see the bullshit that goes on where they try and justify things because they'll say, you know, well, in the games that Josh Allen has turned over, they have a better record. Well, I think when you were a Super Bowl favorite, when the Cowboys got rid of all their talent, the talent helps you to weather more of the turnovers. And it wasn't a chasm there. But, but let's listen into this. This is interesting. Didn't get any reps during the Bills preseason opener, but head coach Sean McDermott announced Thursday that Allen will indeed start tomorrow's game. Last season, Josh Allen threw 14 interceptions, which was one shy of Dak Prescott and Davis Mills for the most in the NFL. It is also worth noting that Dak tied for the league <coughs> in picks despite only playing 12 games. <coughs> Are the interceptions a bigger concern for Josh Allen or for Dak Prescott? I'm going to go with the guy who's had turnover problems beyond just last season. That's Josh Allen. We said it earlier, Dak Prescott has always been a guy who's protected the football. Um, Josh Allen's style of play, he is a guy which I love. This is what you love about him. He's a guy that's going to fight for every yard. He's a guy that's going to, um, he's going to push. He's going to look for the open guy. He's going to try. I've been, I've covered so many Bills games. And last year was alarming because like I watched in overtime him literally just throw the ball to Patrick Peterson against the Vikings to end the game. And it was sort of like, what is Josh seeing? I understand he was injured last year. But last year, he's first, 19 turnovers. 2021, he was fifth in turnovers, 18. 2020, he was eighth in turnovers in the league with like 16. And what's alarming is like Stefan Diggs joined the team in 2020 and Josh Allen seems to turn the ball over a lot since Stefan Diggs has joined the team. I don't, mm. I don't think the Dak Prescott, the interceptions are going to be an issue this year. I will, I will, I will, uh, I'll bet that Mike McCarthy will do whatever he can to make sure that they are not an issue. In Buffalo, though, so much of what makes them beautiful and special and dynamic and the team, it's all Josh Allen. Josh Allen understands, like, I'm going to force it. I'm going to do this. I know we have guys. I trust my guys. And Bart, I don't know. Fix your face, birthday boy. <laughs> Here I'm we go. You know what I'm saying? It's just Hater a time. Josh Allen will do the Patrick Mahomes thing, but with, with, with not as great success yeah. as far as accuracy, from the accuracy standpoint. Like, there are plays where you're like, that's beautiful. And then you'll see him make a play, and you're like, what, what was that? Who are you throwing well, it to? Well, he's the ultimate gunslinger is what you're saying. And he's a guy that's, that's always looking for the big play. He's a guy that's going to fight to stay up. He's a guy that's going to make those off-schedule plays. But, you know, I think they need that, right? Because he's so much such a big part mm -hmm. of their, 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 their scheme. But 
From all the reports that's coming out of Dallas camp, oh, uh, Dak is pushing the ball down the field. That's what you don't want to hear. They go out and they go get Brandon Cooks, who's a vertical threat. That means that they're going to throw the ball you know, more, and maybe what they're trying to do is run the ball late to kind of salt the game away. But I think Dak, and you don't pay a quarterback as much money as you pay Dak and don't allow him to be able to have free reign. And they're saying they're going to allow him to have free reign. You hear Diggs, right? He's throwing interceptions in, in, in camp already. Diggs is teasing him. To but be fair, other qu- Lamar Jackson, Aaron Rodgers. Of course. Guys throwing throwing it. It. No, no, like, that's what you everyone. do. No. It's camp. No, yeah, like, no. It's the time to do it. But what I'm saying is he's been more aggressive in pushing the ball down the field, trying to get easy scores. And I think that's going to be his Achilles heel. It's not that Dak had, you know, more interceptions than he had before. It was the type of interceptions. It was the decision making that he made. A lot of them were off of a bad throw. A lot of his receivers weren't getting separation. A lot of them were off of but, them. But a lot of them he was throwing. Bodies. But a lot of them he was throwing directly to the to and when the they had A lot of them not being on the same page. So you know, I think you know, it, it's that. I think. I, mean, I think. I feel like he's going to put more on his shoulders. He understands what it is, right? The Dallas Cowboys have been a team that has underachieved more than any other team in football since Dak has been there. You know, what? He, he's hearing what they're saying about the fact that they're not, you know, they 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 haven't really won any playoff game. I'm sorry. They did beat the Seattle Seahawks and they did beat Tampa Bay. And his playoff record is the same as Tony Romo's. So this is where <clears throat> you, you get half troops. So I think he's going to try and be aggressive and he's going to try and make his MVP run. Josh Allen, I think, is going to be, when he gets in trouble, a lot of times he's running the football. Mm -hmm. And a lot of his turnovers were fumbles because he's Mm -hmm. getting spent over and things like that. Dak is one of these... Turnover's a turnover. I didn't know what some are weighted more than others. He lets on, but he he has this reluctance to run a a lot, right? He should be just as effective as a dual threat quarterback as Justin Fields, in my opinion. After you've heard come out of Dallas, you think Dak... Will put more on his shoulders this year? He has to. He's playing for his Will job. Will he be allowed no, to? No, no. He's putting. He listen. He understands. The reality is that contract was a two-year uh, yeah. contract, and I'm he understands he's him. fighting for an extension. Yes, he's still and, and listen, and if they get rid of the quarterback, they damn sure getting rid of the coach. So they're going to be starting all over again. So he understands yeah. that he's playing for his. It's alive. Oh, boy, it's boy. alive. Because he has to prove that he's worth paying that money. You heard what Jerry said. We got to pay a lot of young people. Mm-hmm. Michael Parsons is up for a contract. Guess what? They're, are they going to pay Dak Prescott? They, and Jerry found Parsons? the money to if pay they, my cousin Zach Martin. But if he they, found the money if somewhere. Fall, Your money's <laughs> always there. But, you can always find but, it. But if they fall short, will Dak be worthy? Because the narrative is he can't win the big one. Mm-hmm. It's a contract year for Dak. That certainly plays into this con- Um, I remind you that Josh Allen lost the same weekend that the Cowboys did. At home, at home, when the Cowboys had to play Monday night and then go on the road and play in San Francisco. So, this is funny. At least we're finally getting somebody that's kind of saying, you know, Josh Allen has got a turnover problem too. But they dismiss that. So, it is what it is. All right, good people. We are 50 minutes away from kickoff of the New York Stinking Giants and our live stream. As always, I appreciate you guys. Grocery store, I used to actually swallow it. Pause. But, you know. Oh, Joe's used packed to, in and he used to sw- I used to pack and swallow. I used to do a lot of stuff. Dude, that should be your, like, intro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Your intro well, is no 